Atherosclerosis is a condition that affects the arteries, leading to serious cardiovascular diseases. At its core, atherosclerosis involves the buildup of fatty deposits, cholesterol, and other substances on the arterial walls. This buildup is known as plaque. Over time, this plaque hardens and narrows the arteries, limiting blood flow to essential organs and tissues throughout the body. Understanding how atherosclerosis develops starts with recognizing risk factors. High levels of low-density lipoprotein, or LDL cholesterol, play a significant role. Often called, bad cholesterol, LDL can accumulate in the arteries. Conversely, high levels of high-density lipoprotein, or HDL cholesterol, serve as protective agents, helping to remove LDL from the bloodstream. Other crucial risk factors include hypertension or high blood pressure, which can damage blood vessel walls, making them more susceptible to plaque formation. Smoking significantly exacerbates the condition, as the chemicals in tobacco not only harm the artery lining but also contribute to the development of plaque. Additionally, diabetes and insulin resistance can lead to higher levels of glucose in the blood, which is another key contributor to the development of atherosclerosis. Lifestyle factors, such as a diet high in saturated fats and trans fats, contribute to the progression of atherosclerosis. A sedentary lifestyle can worsen these effects, as regular physical activity helps to maintain healthy cholesterol levels and blood pressure. Genetics also play a role. Family history of heart disease can increase individual risk. When you have atherosclerosis, the symptoms can vary depending on which arteries are affected. Often, early stages may show no symptoms at all. However, as the disease progresses, narrowed arteries can lead to chest pain, known as angina, particularly during physical exertion. In some cases, atherosclerosis can lead to more severe outcomes, such as heart attacks, strokes, or peripheral artery disease. A heart attack occurs when blood flow to a portion of the heart muscle is blocked, and a stroke occurs when blood flow to the brain is disrupted. Diagnosis of atherosclerosis often starts with a detailed medical history and physical examination. Doctors may use various diagnostic tests, such as cholesterol blood tests, ultrasounds, or angiograms, which visualize the arteries to assess the extent of plaque buildup. Non-invasive tests like CT scans can also provide valuable information about coronary artery calcium scores, giving insights into the amount of calcified plaque present. Treatment strategies for atherosclerosis often focus on lifestyle modifications. Quitting smoking, adopting a heart-healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats, and engaging in regular exercise are fundamental steps. Medications may also be prescribed to manage cholesterol levels, reduce blood pressure, or prevent blood clot formation. In more severe cases, procedures like angioplasty, where a small balloon is used to open up blocked arteries, and the insertion of stents to keep them open may be necessary. Bypass surgery is another option where arteries or veins from other parts of the body are used to create a detour around narrowed or blocked arteries. Preventing atherosclerosis is closely linked to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Regular screenings for cholesterol and blood pressure can help catch any issues early on. Staying informed about personal health metrics and understanding family health history can also guide individuals toward preventative measures. In summary, Atherosclerosis is a complex and progressive condition that poses significant risk to cardiovascular health. Awareness of its risk factors, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment options empowers individuals to take control of their health. By adopting healthy lifestyle choices and staying vigilant with regular health checkups, you can significantly reduce your risk of developing atherosclerosis and its potentially serious complications. Remember, heart health is vital, and prevention is always better than intervention. Thank you for watching, and take care of your heart.